Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Creation Station where I make all my stuff and I am here to talk to you about the Sony A6300, the new camera announcement from Sony. <music> YouTubers, before I start this video, I gotta clarify what I do. I am a videographer who just likes to have great photos. Um, now, in the course of my work, I do a lot of filming, but I like to bring in and integrate still shots into whatever video production I do. And for that reason, I ask uh, for a lot out of a camera. I ask for it to film exceptionally well and to also give me great stills. Um, I, a while back, I produced a video called the 10 cons of the Sony a6000, which is right here if you want to click. And uh, I got a lot of flack on, on that video. So later on, I also produced the 10 pros because I want to get something extremely clear here is that uh, the Sony a6000, I adore this camera. It's just a fantastic camera that I've always loved and always thought was just an exceptional camera. So. Uh, I wanted to uh, say that and get that across and make sure people understand what you're listening to is the impressions of a guy who does a lot of video. Now, why am I excited about the new camera, the Sony a6300? Here's a couple of things. Now, they boast, let's talk about the stills first. They boast uh, the world's fastest autofocus, uh, and it's going to be 0 0.05 second speed uh, of autofocus with 425 points of phase detection AF. Uh, so... This thing is going to be exceptionally fast. It already was, the A6000 was already super fast, but obviously they, they took it up a notch. Sony took it up a notch. So that's one of the reasons I'm super excited. Uh, now, a thing that nobody's really talking about, but I think is really fantastic, is what's called 4D predictive focus. This stuff looks super promising. The focusing system is going to be able to look at the scene analyze the scene and predict what might happen in the future and be able to go and make sure the focus is ready for that time. It sounds really, really fantastic. Uh, and this is a hit on the, all the DSLR pundits that talk about DSLR and how they're amazing. And uh, it's always been sort of a, a problem with uh, mirrorless. Another hit for the DSLR people is what Sony claims is if you bring this down to eight frames per second, which is all still absolutely amazing, you will be able to have full live view on your EVF while you're watching. Now, DSLRs always had that edge over mirrorless cameras because it was a sort of a lag, but not because the DSLR mirror would flip down and give you a view of what was actually happening. Well, at eight frames per second, you will be able to get total live view of what is happening while you're taking your continuous shots. So uh, it's a big thing. It's a beautiful thing for the burst rate and it'll bring this camera up a notch when it's competing against all the DSLR equivalents. Uh, another nice thing is the ISO range is, has been expanded to 51,200. 51, so that's the native ISO range. So let's watch and see what happens for noise, grain. I think this is, thing is going to be really, really fantastic. Now, another cool thing that I don't want to talk about that much because it's very technical is we basically have all the technologies from the A7 in the sensor coming down to the A6300. So anything involving that copper wiring, which is brings in two, two big things. Uh, copper wiring, because it's thinner, uh, allows uh, the photodiode to be closer to the actual little capture lens in the pixel. So that in itself makes for better quality. And the other thing is the fact that the wiring is actually thinner allows the photodiode itself to be a bit larger. So those two things bring in uh, stuff that can bring in, you know, better color rendition, lower noise, and a lot of other elements. So it's, it's a nice thing to know that that has been brought down to the A6300. Um, <clears throat> body wise, I think it's great. We're talking about uh, magnesium alloy body and uh, they're boasting a better grip. I really like the grip already, so uh, I don't know what they're going to do, but it's always fun to see that they're trying to improve these things. Uh, now let's get into a bit of the video stuff, which I find really fantastic is we're talking about a, ca we're talking about 4k video. 
4K video on this little small form factor is just fantastic for me. I think it's a great thing and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I started experimenting with 4K video recently and I love it. Uh, now, what's really exciting is that Sony is saying that they're going to use a Super 35 equi equivalent and they're going to capture it 6K and downsample to 4. Now, before you panic and say, well, they're downsampling, remember, they claim that they will not be pixel binning. So they will use the whole captor, the whole sensor, and they will uh, bring that down to another sample without touching any of the pixel information. This is great news, and it could actually make the video quality in 4K on this camera better than the other top-end ones like the A7s. Other things with video that are a lot of fun is we're talking about the S-Gamut S-Log has been brought to this camera, S-Gamut S-Log. That is like really exciting. I myself don't use that, but it leaves room to grow for me. Uh, I'm not a guy, what happens when you work in S-Log and everything else, because the dynamic range is so huge, you have to work in post after. You have to do grading to make your video look a bit better. And uh, there's less of an instant gratification feel when you're working with that type of video. However, you're talking about the ability to work with video in post that's phenomenal. I mean, you're four, 14 stops of dynamic range. You can play with this stuff a lot. Uh, so that's a real cool thing for room for growth. I think it's fantastic. Now, they also say we have the XAVC codec as well. This is your instant gratification thing. It's basically the big brother of AVCHD, a better quality, better bitrate AVCHD, which I am a big fan of. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos. I've always been a big fan of the way Sony compresses video. When they do decide to compress it, it's really fantastic what they do. My disappointments. I don't have that many. One is that there's a, uh, the 24.2 megapixel sensor. I, I can't say it's a big disappointment because I find 24.2 megapixels a lot for a, a, a photo camera. It's like, great. It's just a thing I thought they might have. Um, record button placement, they haven't changed it. It's still that same, same crappy, finicky buddy, button. I don't like it. I don't think it's great. I think they could put a bigger button elsewhere. Uh, I have heard that you can actually change the record button placement. That in itself helps, but it would just be fun if the actual record button with the red little dot on it was in a different place. Swivel screen, I just don't like their swivel screen. I don't like it. They should have a flip out screen on this camera and they haven't changed that. The battery hasn't changed. Uh, that in itself, we'll see if the, the battery doesn't have a lot of capacity. So to me, that's not great. Uh, maybe the camera is now designed to consume less, so that would actually make uh, battery life a bit longer, but that was a bit of a disappointment for me. Another thing was I was expecting the five axis image stabilization on, that is on the A7s on this, but we didn't get it. Again, it's a small form factor, so I don't know how they could have put it, put it in. To me, that would probably be the thing that caused the problem when they wanted to do that. So. Still just a fantastic camera, a lot of great stuff uh, being offered here. And uh, I think it's, I think it's going to be a bit of a game cha changer this year. So thank you for watching everybody. And again, I want to mention for the last time, uh, I'm a videographer and I take stills. And that's, what, that's the main purpose of what I do. I wanted to talk about my impressions of this camera, tell you what I think, where it's going, and I am really excited. As soon as it comes out, I'm getting one for sure. If you have any comments, any things you think about this camera, please do not hesitate to put them in the comments below. If you like the video, don't forget to click the thumbs up. If you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the whole bit. And uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, I have some works. I don't only do this technical stuff. You can subscribe. And don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.